Hello, this is Leech Afe. How we doing? Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of our Morkum Rise to the Top career mode, where we are in our second season now and we are trying to build a team capable of promotion from League 2. Um, after the board gave us quite a bit of money to spend, we've made significant changes to the team um, and now it's all kind of starting to take shape. Um, now, if you want to catch this series right from the start, then check out the description down below where you can find the series playlist and be able to check it out from um, obviously the first episode and to how we got to where we are now. So, we've got some major transfer news, major, major news. Ruben Loftus Cheek has signed from Chelsea. Um, a terrific deal. He's going to be the highest paid player in the club by a country mile. Um, but we managed to, how we managed to sign him is beyond me, but we managed to get him over the line anyway, so that's absolutely superb. Um, the next player we brought in is Harry Winks. Um, again, it's just like kind of squad depth is the main thing here. Um, so we brought him in um, on a four year deal for nine grand a week. We have sold Leonard Koch to Crew Alexander for £100,000 and we've got 80 grand of that back to use. We brought Ryan Watson in from Leicester City on a four year deal for, for seven grand a week. And we've also brought in Valera from Manchester United on a four year deal for eight grand a week. Also, and we've brought in a new goalkeeper, Carol Darlow. We brought him in from Newcastle and he's signed a three year deal for 17 grand a week. So it's quite a contrast in players, um, it's got to be said. So, this is our new lineup. So, we've kept Thompson in goals. The main reason for that is because he's asked, he said, it's a message saying, they didn't want to be in the subs, he wants to start. And I've I think it's only fair. He has played well in the first couple of games this season, so we're going to keep Thompson in goals. We've got Ruben Rowe at, at um, right back with us alongside Edwards and Banyak and Caden Tierney. Then the midfield is completely changed now. We've got Scott Allen, Ruben Roftus Cheek, and uh, James Forrest. And then up front, we've got Duncan Watmore, Chuba Akpom, and Moya, which isn't too bad whatsoever. So the, now the bench looks like this. We've got Darlow on the bench, but he will become number one goalkeeper well, between him and Steele. But still has got an ACL injury and he's out for four months. Um, so we've got Darlow, Jones, Valera, Watson, Jakob, Devitt and Winks all on the on the bench, which is a, a, a good range. Everybody's looking okay, which isn't too bad. And then as backup players, we've got Lewis Small, Adam Mudrick, we've got Steele whenever it becomes fit again, we've got Tom Burkhausen, we've got Kieran Waters, we've got Lucas and we've also got Bailey. Um, and Doyle and there's a few others as well. Now, up until Bailey, I think the rest are... <sighs> it's one of those ones that I could let them go. I'd like to keep Miller. Put Miller back there. Maybe keep Miller. I don't know. I'd be one of those things. If, if a bid come in, I'd maybe sell him. For the rest of them, I think the door is open um, because I have made inquiries for a few other players that I want to bring in. I said at the end of the last episode, I did want to basically have two teams that I could swap out and then swap in because there's a few times in the league where the games just come at you absolutely rapid and the players don't get enough time to recover. So, we're good today to get into our next game, which is against Bristol Rovers. Now, as you can see, it's like... Um, We've got this game against Bristol Rovers and then we've got Luton Town and then it's Portsmouth in the Johnston Paint Trophy. And then it's kind of like one, two, um, a game a week and then two games a week, a game a week. And it's pretty much like that until you, the FA Cup games kick in as well. We've got the, they don't come in until November. But again, it's some of the games come quite thick and fast. So we do need to have like a good depth and we also need to obviously... Um, go for substitutes. I mean, look at this time in March. There's just no time between games whatsoever. It's just ridiculous. Um, so we do need to obviously make sure we've got a decent squad depth for us to get through the full season. So enough waffling, enough talking of the shit, and let's move on with pressing matters with this game against Bristol Rovers. Um, this will be the starting lineup. Let's see how we do and see if we can keep our decent league form going. James Forrest pushing forward. He's got Chuba Agpom out wide. Agpom chance to run into this defence. They can't answer him. It's Agpom! Oh, that's lovely. That's what we brought him for. That's what he can do. And that's 1-0. Nice pass cut out by Agpom. He's got a chance to run him. He's got great pace. Chuba Agpom! It's 2-0. That'll do nicely. 
perfect, lovely finish. Pass cut out by Agpom. He's got a chance to run at them. Wrong foots the defenders and puts it past the keeper 2 0. Loftus cheek has a great ball through for Moya. As you can see, Bristol Rovers are on the defensive. Moya! <laughs> that's, that's terrible. I was going to pass it back. I decided just to run at him and hit it hard, and that's managed to work. Rovers had went to attack. We put them on a counter attack and smash it home for 3 0. That'll do it. Well, that's a good 3 0 victory. It's something which we couldn't do much in the first season. But we managed to do it this season um, is actually to, to try and score a few goals in the game. Uh, Bristol Rovers were terrible. Um, and why they went to attacking at like whatever 70 minutes or whatever it was uh, just was beyond me. And we managed to capitalise on that to get the third. Um, but really, really happy with the team. Very, very good team performance all round. Um, but as always, what I'll do is just uh, get into the office, check out what's going on and bring you any news from there. Okay, so we're just about ready to get into our next match, which is against Luton Town. Um, I just want to get things up to speed for you. So, after three games, we'll get seven points. We're sitting second in the table alongside Crew Alexander, um, but we're two points behind Stevenage, who have made a perfect start to their campaign. Now, we have made some new signings to the team. Uh, firstly, we have sold Adam Dugdale to Crew Alexander. Um, for 110,000, the board giving us 90,000 of that. We've signed Joe Gomez from Liverpool on a four year deal for 15 grand a week. We've signed Alex Awobi from Arsenal on a four year deal for five grand a week. And we have continued our raid of Celtic by signing Tom Rogic on a four year deal for 16 grand a week, um, which isn't too shabby whatsoever. Which now gives us, I think I'm happy, I don't think I'm going to need to sign anyone else. Um, I'm happy with how we are for everybody. So, our kind of best team, if you like, in my opinion, is Darlow and Goals with uh, Varela, Edwards, Banyak and Gomez at the back. And in the midfield of Loftus-Cheek, Scott Allen and James Forrest. And in the front three of Moya, Agpom and Duncan Watmore. So, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. We've got a bench then of Thompson, uh, Jones, Rowe, Will Dig, Jacob. Uh, Devitt and Rogic, which isn't too shabby at all. And then in reserves, we've got the likes of Lewis Malt, we've got uh, Watson, Steele, Barkowsian, uh, Waters, Lucas, Awobi, and Miller, and Winks and Tierney. I think after Tierney onwards, I'd be happy if these guys went. So these six guys Murphy, Kenyon, Bailey, Doyle, Burnswell, and Bailey. Um, if we had to get bids in for them, I would happily accept it um, because we've we definitely got enough now to kind of cover us for what I'm wanting to get from the team. A nice young squad um, that I can bring up through the rankings and get them in. I'm really, really happy with Joe Gomez. 60 rated and this guy is multitasking in the defence. He can play left back, centre back and right back. Obviously left back is his strongest position. But I reckon my probably the way that I'll most likely play it is with like Gomez... Um, he'll either be left back or centre back and then we'll obviously we'll have Tierney in there instead of him um, and we'll obviously chop and change between Valera and Ruben Rowe because um, Rowe was a product of our youth development through him last season and he's come on pretty well and in the midfield Loftus-Cheek and Scott Allen will be the main front two and we'll be main two in the middle sorry but we'll obviously swap him out for the likes of Will Dig and they will bring in the likes of Winks that can give, uh, give us good cover and then, as regards of the front three, we've got Watmore, who we can swap out with Jamie Devitt. We've got uh, Chuba Akpom, who's easily, we can, like, we've got, like, say, Jacob and obviously Malt as well. And obviously Barkowsian too. And then on the right-hand side, we've got Moya. And he is backed up by, where the hell is he? Yeah, Kieran Waters. And I'm right at him. <laughs> so he's backed up with Waters. So we've got a, a decent um, squad all round. Um, which is exactly what I was wanting, couldn't ask for much better than that and we will put this squad to work then in the next game which is against Luton Town so let's see how that one goes, hopefully we can continue our unbeaten start to the season um, and obviously get good performance from the new players in the team to run at the Luton defence, defenders went to ground 
Good football. It's in off the bar. And I think that's Scott Allen. Scott Allen with her goal. A little bit sweaty, but I'll take it. Defender dived in. Went down. What more just held the ball nicely. Chips it up for Allen and he heads it away 1-0. Oh, James Forrest, that's went in. I don't know how. It was, a, it was actually meant as a shot, but it's been a shot. And it's beat the goalkeeper from outside the box. Won the ball back in the midfield. It's a nice through ball. It just has a pop and it just... Like, I don't know, wrong foot's the goalkeeper. And it ends up trickling into the net and it's 2-0. It's right at the death. Moya to get the delivery this time. Punched away by the goalkeeper, finding what more. And he's rattled it in. From outside the box. That'll do nicely. Makes it free. A lovely long shot there. Obviously the keeper. Well out of his box. Or well out of his, off his line. That's a good shot. Nobody had any chance of stopping that one. Lovely finish by Watmore. And it's 3-0. Well that's it. It's all over. And it's a 3-0 victory again for the team. That's absolutely brilliant. And uh, the team's really starting to take shape. And really starting to perform dominating that game in every sense of the word, just really taking uh, loot into town, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> on that game and getting us a 3-0 victory, and it's absolutely a really good start so far, um, I'm starting to enjoy this, this is, this is good so far, everything's going the way that I want it to go, now, we've got a wee bit of, um, a couple of days until our next game, which is against Portsmouth on the Johnston Paint Trophy, so get the team ready for that, and we'll come back for the starting lineup. Okay, so here we are ready for our Johnston Paint Trophy match against Portsmouth. And we've went with like a second string 11 um, with, well, almost Darlow and goals. We've got Ruben Rowe, Jones, Doyle and Tierney at the back with Will Digg, Watson and Winks in the middle. And then we've got Devitt, Barkowsian and Waters as our front three. And giving a few players a rest for this one as it's just two days since our last game in the league. Might prove costly, but I don't know. I think, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Nicely cut out by Will Dig. That's a good first time pass to Winks. Tucks it away nicely and gives us a 1 0 lead after 6 minutes. That'll do perfect. Lovely play by Will Dig. Nice through ball for Winks. His first start for the team and his first goal. That's a good football for Portsmouth. And they're immediately back in uh, the game with a equaliser there. I can't believe it, how easy it was for them in the defence. Just poor play. Just well put through. And lovely tucked away. Top corner front post. Keeper should have done better. Watson. Nice through ball for Bakhausen to run on to. First time cross. Looking for Winks. That's a lovely header. That'll do nicely. Back in front, just before half time. And Winks with his second. Good play by Bukowsian. Lovely early cross. And it's a fantastic header. 2 1. Nice ball by Bukowsian. Through to Waters. Kieran Waters makes it 3 1. That should be the victory. That'll do nicely. Nice play. Morecambe really starting to play some good football. That's what it's all about. Nice pass, nice pass by Brickhousian as well, and a lovely finish by Waters to make it free, well 3-1. Free well that'll do nicely, a lovely victory in the Johnston Paint Trophy, 3-1 in the end against Portsmouth, and that's, we're making a really good start to this season, it's all going really really well. Proper good start by Harry Winks to his career, that's for sure, uh, getting two goals for us in this game, and really maybe pushing himself into contention for our like, main league team. But anyway, that's going to bring an end to this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, then drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.